Using that first interpretation, we can now answer the question, what is 8 divided by 0? Well, if you have 8 cats and 0 boxes, how many cats per box? This question you can't really answer because there are no boxes, so this is undefined, right? So 8 divided by 0, undefined. 9 divided by 0 is undefined. The moral here is you can't divide by 0. And what is 8 divided by 1? Well, 8 cats and 1 box, how many cats per box? That's just all 8 cats are in the same box. There's only one box, after all. This is what will tell us that 8 divided by 1 is equal to 8. Similarly, 9 divided by 1 is equal to 9, and so on. And so more generally, uh, a divided by 1 is equal to a. This, the a here and here are generically trying to represent the 8s or the 9s in the, in the previous examples. So this a over 1 is equal to a. That's true no matter what a is. And why is this true? Well, the only valid explanation we're going to accept for class is this text here. If you have a cats and one box, then there are a cats per box. It's basically the text with the eights, just replaced with a's. So a divided by 1 equals a. And this really is using that interpretation of fractions as being cats and boxes. So because a divided by 1 equals a, either a over 1 and a, either of these can be replaced for the other. Just to be more specific, a over 1 can be replaced with an a, that is you can simplify a over 1 to become an a, or in reverse, often it's actually convenient to replace a with a over 1. Even though a over 1 looks more complicated, there are times you want to take something that does not look like a fraction and turn it into a fraction. So even things that don't look like a fraction, they really are, there's just a hidden one in the denominator.